The soft-boiled detective contains content that may be alarming or upsetting to some listeners. There are depictions of violence and murder, frank portrayals of sexuality, discussions of abuse and mental illness, and adult language. Episodes may contain sudden gunshot sounds. In this episode, there are discussions of domestic abuse and violence against romantic partners. There is also a character that explores police corruption and abuse. Whenever you're feeling ready and able, we hope you'll join us. Tiffany and I made our way to East My City to pay a visit to her father. Hans and Louise stayed behind at the digital morgue. Tiffany was confident that her father had killed her and Louise's friend, Caridad. For her sake, I hoped she was wrong. I'm not wrong, HBD. The similarities are too close. How did you know what I was thinking? Don't worry about sparing my feelings. My father has always been an asshole, and nailing him for something would be a dream come true. You don't get along with your father? Having daddy issues isn't exactly unique. I'm sure you have some. I get along great with my father. Seriously? We're close. I call home every other day to check in. Well, do you have mommy issues? My mother is a wonderful lady. She's my biggest cheerleader. Okay. So what do they do? My mother's a retired fire chief. My father's an oral detective. Oral detective? Mm Mm-hmm. He investigates mouths and finds out what's wrong with them. Wait, do you mean a dentist? Uh Uh-uh. Oral detective. Let's just get this over with. Identity confirmed for Tiffany Coffendaffer. Please enter. The house was orderly. The trophies and accomplishments of Megan Coffendaffer lined up the walls. I could only see images of a large, imposing man with an overly coif young woman. She shared a lot of similarities with Tiffany, except that her hair was a much lighter shade. That's Megan. She's from Dad's second marriage. Your father remarried. Yeah. Mom wasn't even cold in the ground before he brought Tori home. About three weeks later, his new girlfriend was my stepmom. Where is she? She died like a week after Megan was born. Did your father kill her too? No, I can't blame him for that one. She was a robot counselor and one of the robots killed her. Robot counselor? Did you not have any robot counselors in Alaska? They counsel families that want to pick out a robot or android. If they're having trouble with one, the robot counselor helps them either get a new one or work out the issues with the current one. I see. My heart went out to Tiffany. She deserved to have a happy family Oh my god. And I couldn't relate. I could see police paraphernalia around the house. Just as Tiffany said, her father was a police officer. There were plenty of awards that read Officer Chad Coffendaffer. He's a retired police officer. Fuck you, shithead. Oh, for fuck's sake. That came from outside. We should- Don't worry about it. I'll go check it out. I can't let you go alone. That's my dad, HBD. Just wait a second. I wasn't going to let Tiffany walk into potential danger alone, especially if her father was a murderer. I followed her as she made her way to the back door. Once we stepped outside, we could see that the coffin daffer house butted against Bodega de Benito a typical My City market. Two men stood in the street outside it. One was Tiffany's father. I was taken off guard by the size of him. His face was red, contorted into a snarl. The other man was a frail older man, hunched over to make himself even smaller. I'll kill you, fucker! Dad, stop being an asshole. Fuck off, Tiffany! This is between me and him. Sir, I'm going to have to ask that you do not speak to your daughter or this elderly man that way. Up yours. Mr. Coffendaffer, this is between me and Megan. This scumbag called Megan a thief. I mean, she totally is. She once stole a manhole cover. What the hell was she even going to do with that? Does she know any sewer-dwelling creatures? Pretty sure she is a sewer-dwelling creature. This asshole doesn't get to accuse my baby girl of stealing. Mr. Coffendaffer, I'm sure we could talk this out. All I want is an apology from Megan. She's not- Fuck this. Dad? Dad, stop. Uh, uh, old man. Next time, you better think twice, old man. Dad, get back here. I'm going home, Tiff. I'll see you at dinner. Tiffany, call an ambulance. Right.
unfortunately, Mr. Diaz is going to make it. Tiffany, your father will be arrested for attempted murder. But we can begin the work on our case for Caridad and possibly for your mother. He won't be charged with anything. I don't follow. My dad is an ex-cop. Harold Demetrius, Tiffany Coffin-Daffer. Please, just call me HBD. Right, you two can go home. Don't you need our statements? Mr. Coffin-Daffer already told us what happened. Okay, sure, We but... can have a problem here. No, officer. Have a good day, Miss Coffin-Daffer. Uh, put in a good word to your father for me. Whatever. <clears throat> good night. Just get out of here. The police force. Just as corrupt as it ever was. Yeah, basically. I once tried to change things from the inside. How'd that go for you? Why do you think I'm a private detective now? Hmm. All right. Let's figure out a way that we can get justice for your mother, Caridad, and Mr. Diaz. Do you have any ideas how to do that? Mm, no. Great. Does your father always do things like this? All of East My City is terrified of him. How does everyone in this neighborhood stand for this? Oh, people have demanded change. Dad just scares them into being silent. That's why I don't visit home. Hmm. Whatever. That old man was garbage. Megan, what did you steal? I didn't steal anything. Oh my god, Megan! Megan, your sister just wants to understand. Uh -uh. Half sister. He claims I stole a zizzle bar. I definitely didn't, though, you know. Candy. Dad nearly killed a man over candy. Yeah. He insulted my honor. What honor? Tiffany. How many times has Dad done something like this? I paused. I wanted to know the answer as well. I didn't know. Like, I... Hmm. 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 A couple dozen times. But only if they insulted him. Or me. Has anyone died? Nobody died. Drama queen. I'm not a drama queen. You two are sociopaths. I can hear you. I don't care. You want me to get your arm shut down? What is he talking about? My dad paid for my arm which is why he got me the cheapest model there is. You're threatening to take it away from her? Yeah, he is. When he's the only reason I have it at all. What? I'm going to the store. I need some liquor. Uh, you think his kid took over the bodega for the evening? I think his kid is with him at the hospital. Because you shot him. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Are you making inappropriate hand gestures at your child? All right, that does it. I'm speaking to the mayor if necessary. Wait, you know the mayor? No, but I'm going to call the office. I'm sure they'll hear me out. <laughs> you think they care about what daddy's up to? You are, like, so naive. Megan doubted justice, but justice would always prevail. Tiffany, how about you go get your arm? And then just go back to being a crypt keeper. I do like being with the dead more than I like being with you. There was a lot of bad blood between the sisters. Half sisters. <clears throat> there was a lot of bad blood between the half sisters. It was all tragic. I couldn't relate at all. I love my siblings and we've always gotten along. Can you not rub your perfect family in my face right now? Uh, what was that? I'm going to go talk to my dad. Should I come with you? No, I'll handle it. Um, I'm not here to entertain your friend. Then don't. You'd be doing him a favor by leaving him alone. Dad. What? I know you killed Kara, Dad. How do you know about Kara, Dad? She was my friend. For Christ's sake, how do you know everybody in this city? You murdered her. Can you prove it was murder? I'm not a fucking idiot, Dad. We know you were seeing Kara, Dad, and that you were coming over the night she died. You were pissed because you thought she cheated on you. She was a whore. <laughs> oh my god, why are you such a piece of shit? I'm a piece of shit. That's what I said. And you're so great. 
Uh, girly, you're not the hot shit you think you are. A fucking loser who hangs around corpses all day, can't keep a partner, and lives in some shitty apartment. Real winner, huh? You could at least try to be a little original with your insults. Come to think of it, Mom used to say that too. Speaking of Mommy Dearest, if you don't want to end up like her, you'd watch your back talk. Is that a threat or a promise? What if I did do it? What then, Tiffy? First of all, prove it. Maybe your little boyfriend will believe you, but who else? You're going off hearsay. You can't convict on hearsay. This isn't over, Dad. What the fuck is all this? It looks like it's the whole neighborhood. Coffin daffer! Well, Dad, I'll leave you to it. Who the hell are you? And why are all these people on my property? I'm Benito Diaz's son, Gilberto. Doesn't uh, ring a bell. He's the man you just shot! Oh, uh, what about him? We're not letting you get away with what you've done. Neighborhood is outside to yell at dad. Again. Again? They do this like once a month? <laughs> it's whatever. They'll be pissy at him and then leave. Miss Coffin Dapper, he did shoot someone. It may be different this time. Uh, he's done it before. What? Welcome to how I feel all of the time. What the hell was that? Outside. We raced outside and saw Mr. Coffin Daffer lying face down on the ground. A crowd of 20 people stood around him, looking on with stern expressions. Dad? Daddy! I knelt by his body. He was dead. Thank God for small miracles. Oh my God! <laughs> no! Everyone stay where you are! One of these people had to have seen who the killer was. Gilberto? Diaz, I bet he killed him. No, he didn't. I am a witness. Who are you? Oh, I, I own the cafe that's next to the bodega. Then who did it? No one saw who pulled the trigger. There's 20 people here. How could none of you have seen anything? It, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Death happens all the time in this town. Perhaps it was a rogue droid. Those things go on killing sprees all the time. My stepmom was killed by a droid. It's totally reasonable. See? <laughs> They're lying! They know who killed Daddy! Tiffany, make them tell! I can't make them do anything. I'm afraid all we can say is that no one here saw what happened. That's our story, and we're sticking to it. What if I offer a reward? For... 50,000 crypto? Everyone stood there, silently watching me. Not a single soul stepped forward. They were all going to keep silent. I guess we can tell Luis that the case is resolved. Are you sure it was your father? He basically admitted it in front of me. I see. We can head back and tell him. It's not the best ending, but it's better than Caridad's murder going completely unpunished. But your father's case isn't solved. Trust me, the cops have this one handled. They'll actually try to solve it. But we should help. Why? For justice. Justice happened the moment someone pulled that trigger. I was alarmed by how galleonic Tiffany was about her own father's death. You saw him shoot a man, and you still don't get it. He still deserves a fair trial. He killed I my can... mother. No one could prove it, but I know he did it. He got away with it. He was going to get away with it again, HBD. He's killed twice and almost killed a third time. This wasn't a murder. It was self-defense. A wave of understanding washed over me. This was the closest thing to justice Tiffany would ever see. Can we head back? I don't like being here. Uh, <clears throat> Do you want 
to get ice cream on the way home? Can we go to the ice creamatorium? The ice cream shop? Yeah, it's cream. Creamatorium? Oh, no, no, I, I, I got it. It's, it's funny. They have really good ice cream. Never been. We can remedy that. What about Megan? She'll be fine. Tiffany! Damn it. Wait! You can't leave me here! Without Daddy around, these people will eat me alive! How is that my problem? Tiff? Tiffany, please! Tiffany, should we just leave her here? Don't worry about her. You know, now that Dad's dead, I don't know what to do about my arm. I can't keep up payments on it if I'm not working at the crematorium. I'll raise your salary. You don't pay me a salary. I do now, and I just raised it. More than enough to afford an arm of your own. Are you sure? The ice cream will be on me tonight. We'll take back a tub for Luis and Hans. He's dead? He was shot by someone in the community. Do you know who? No one witnessed it. Are you going to investigate? I'm going to let the police deal with it. We have enough on our plate. Well, he got what was coming to him, if you ask me. Sorry, Tiffany. Don't apologize. He sucked. Why does this feel so... unsatisfying? I don't know, but it does, doesn't it? Who wants sweet corn ice cream? This has been The Soft Boiled Detective. Written, directed, and produced by Cat Walker Shea. Music composed by Mike Fermansky. And sound designed by Silent Bite Studio. Starring the voices of B.K. Dawson as HBD and Hans. Cat Walker Shea as Tiffany and Front Door. Jorge Luis Figueroa as Luis. Corey Kohler as Chad. Marnie Warner as Megan. Casper Oliver as Police Officer. Samuel Fuentes as Benito. Isaias Miranda as Gilberto. Fernanda Hayabi as Joanna, the cafe owner. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to The Soft Boiled Detective. We want to give a special shout out to our patrons on Patreon. Aries Jimenez, Liza, Ashley Kraft, Jessica Maroney, Casper Oliver, and Apocalypse Cowboy. Thank you so much for making this show possible.